Hi everyone, my name is Jack and I'm going to teach you how to test user sign-up forms and email verification codes in Selenium. So for this test we're going to be using Selenium and Java along with uh, mail slurp disposable emails. So the problem we're facing is that in many applications um, users can sign up with an email address and they are sent a confirmation code that needs to be entered in the next step. So within our tests, we need access to clean email addresses that can receive a code and we need to extract that code in the test and then enter it into our confirmation form. So in this test, I'm going to be using a demonstration app hosted at playground.mailslip.com. It's a basic React app that uses um, AWS Cognito to authenticate users. And it will send them a confirmation code that needs to be entered to confirm their account. So the confirmation codes look a little bit like this. Here it is in, in Outlook. But in this test today, I'm going to show you how to run an automated test for this process. So we're going to be using something called MailSlurp, which is a free API for developers that lets us create uh, QA email addresses for testing. So with these email addresses, we can create new inboxes and we can fetch the content of emails within our tests. So if we go into, uh, if we sign up and log into the app, um, we can access an API key and we'll use this in our tests to create inboxes. So the first step would be to um, open up an editor and let's create a new Selenium project. So I'm going to call mine um, Sel Selenium Demo Emails and I'm going to set up with Gradle, Java. You can use any language you like here. You could use C Sharp, Python, whatever you prefer, JavaScript. Uh, all the principles are the same. Um, I'm just going to show you um, using Java. Example video. Okay, now I'm going to set that up, add the sample code. Let's click Next, uh, Create, open it in this window. Okay, so we have a new project um, with some demo tests automatically added. I'm just going to set up my computer, allow that. Let's have a look what we have. Uh, we have a source folder and we have our test directory. So let's delete this main page and we'll go into our main test. We'll delete this page and have a look at what we have. So we've got some demo functions. Let's get rid of that. And we have a setup function. Here you can see it's calling a JetBrains API. We're going to make that load um, our playground app. So playground.mailslurp.com. And in our first test, um, we'll call that can sign up and log in with confirmation code. And let's just put a, um, sorry, wrong language. Let's just put a debugger here. See if we can run the project and uh, see what happens. So we'll run the test and it should open. Right, okay, so it's opened up uh, Chrome and it's loaded our playground. So we can use this now to uh, write our tests. So we'll want to create a new email address for the username field, and then we can use a test password, and we'll want to sign up with a, a clean email address. So the first step would be creating, clicking this Create Inbox selector. So let's see if we can do that. Let's just um, extract out the selector here. Okay, and let's say, um, do the get that selector and click it uh, and pardon me okay and let's put a debugger here again let's run that so what we're doing is we're just going to test if we can click on that first button um, let's run that pour out some tea and it's worked okay so it's taken us to the sign up page now let's fill in the username and password and we'll show how to create the new email address during that step as well. So what we want to do is we want to um, select this name equals email and we want to add a new email address to it. So how are we going to do that? Well we're going to use MailSlurp to create a new inbox and we are going to use the inbox um, type and we'll say email address to create an email address. So first we have to configure a mail server client. So if we go to um, if we go to our browser 
here's our API key. If we go to docs.mailserve.com slash Java, we can find uh, information on the Java package um, for MailServe. And if we click on Maven Central package here, uh, we can find the Gradle specification we need. So I'm using Gradle in my project. If I go back to here, open up build Gradle. Let's add the dependency for MailServe. Okay, let's refresh the project. Great. Put that there. And now we need to create a new uh, client. So what we're going to do is we're going to say um, bar mailserp equals, I believe it's com.mailserp.apis.configuration. Um, Let's see what we've got here. Clients, configuration, uh, and then get default API client. So that's going to be our client. And then we want to create an inbox controller. So the inbox controller, we'll say, uh, say new inbox controller API, and we'll pass in the mail slurp instance. Now we want to set our API key on this client. So we'll say mail slurp dot set API key, and we'll put our API key there. So let's copy that again from the dashboard, paste that in like this. Excellent. Um, let's also set some timeouts. Um, connection timeout. So because we're going to be um, receiving emails, we may need to wait. Um, so we'll set some set some timeouts here. Um, read timeout and connection timeout. Okay. Great. Um, and now let's just try creating an inbox with the inbox controller. And we'll use that in our next step to fill out the username. So if we say inbox controller, create inbox um, with defaults. Okay, so that's going to create a new inbox for us. We'll just assign that like that. And now let's assert that um, assert equals. Let's assert that the inbox email address um, contains contains the sequence at mailserp. So that's going to be our disposable email address at mailserp. Um, let's just get rid of that. Okay, join this up. Sorry. Uh, it's telling us we need to add a exception here. Let's add it to the method. Saying the can't find the local variable inbox. Uh, why is that? Got out var inbox. That looks okay. We have to call get email. Okay, we say get email address. Uh, great. All right. And let's just put a do that. And yeah, we'll leave this in there as well. Why don't we? Why don't we try that? Okay, and then we'll say inbox dot get email address. So we're going to fill out the form with the email address, and let's just put that um, put a debugger there. Okay, let's run it now and see what happens. Uh, so if we rerun this with the debugger, what we've done is we've created our MailServe API key um, and client, and now we're creating a new inbox. There you can see it. Okay, so it's typing out the new email address. It's typing it quite slowly. Um, but that's all right. We'll fix that in the next step. So you can see it created a new email address here, a long number at mailslurp.world. So we're going to create new email addresses for each test run. This means that our, um, our user will always be unique in our application. And we'll fill out the password with um, some random password. Uh, let's find a selector for that. It's name password. Um, so we'll say uh, password. It's actually like this, name, name equal. Sorry, name equals password. Great, and we we'll put in there our um, type test password, and we'll just define one here. Let's make a test password. Remember, there's just a test, so it doesn't really matter about the security. Okay, and let's make that a bit faster. Let's say send keys and send keys, that should be a bit quicker. And then we need to click this um, create account button when that's finished. So I'm, as you can see here, um, I'm selecting a selector for it and we're going to use that to click it. Um, so if we do it like this and escape those naughty quotes and click it. This should Submit the new username and password, and then uh, stop on the next page. So let's let's try that. We'll run the test again. Drink some tea. 
Wonderful. Okay, so let's go on to the next step. So we can see here that Selenium has filled out the username with a randomly generated uh, email address and it's now waiting for the confirmation code. So the next step for us is that we need to fetch that email uh, from the MailSafe API. So how do we do that? Well, I'll show you now. So what we want to do is we want to go back here, uh, get rid of that. Let's just add a comment for what we're doing. Fill out the um, sign up form and we'll put a message here saying wait for the confirmation email. So we need to create a wait controller um, like this. We can just get rid of that, import that. So we're passing it the mail slurp uh, client. And now the latest email we can fetch with wait controller, uh, sorry, wait controller dot wait for latest email. Okay, and then we pass in the inbox ID and a timeout and whether we should only return unread items. Uh, this problem with this timeout is it because it's a long. Let's just see what we've got wrong here. Um, what's it saying? Let's have a look at this. A long, a boolean. Oh, it requires some other, some other elements. Um, so unread only. No, no, no. Okay, what's wrong with that? Timeout. Okay, fixed it now. I just had a syntax error there. Right, and let's assert that the email dot get body um, contains the uh, verification code. So for now, let's just put in some random value, and then we can use that to actually um, find out what the value is. So if we just stop that, rerun the test, drink some tea. We can see it filled out the form and it's waiting for the email. It's thrown an error like we expected. If we look in here, what have we got? We have, aha, here we go, expected. Your demo verification code is this number. Wonderful, okay, so that means we can write uh, some code to extract that value. So um, extract the code. So how are we gonna do this? Well, okay, my editor is just suggesting something. Uh, which I don't think is, is going to work for us. Let's use um, probably a pattern instead. Um, okay, we are going to use the pattern style. Um, pattern or compile. So we'll pass in a regular, regular expression. Um, sorry, let's just never find... There we go. Uh, verification. So it was your demo verification code is... Yes, and number and it's six numbers. Okay, that looks great. Um, we can just add on this at the end. So with that pattern, we can create a matcher um, and we can apply the matcher to the email body. Now we can assert that uh, there is a match. We'll say uh, matcher.find, um, I'll find the first one. And then the confirmation code, can be found with match uh, m dot group one. Okay. Now let's assert that the code. Um, sure, that it's six. But let's also um, just say that it is a particular value, and then we'll use that to make sure that we did get a sensible value for this test. So we'll run that again. We can see it filling out the form. It's waiting for the confirmation code. Okay, through an error, which we want, and we can see, huzzah, there is a code um, being returned from our um, extract. So let's just uh, have a look what we've got so far. We have a Selenium test uh, with some basic setup features. It's opening the play playground application that we're testing. And within our test, we are configuring a mail slip client. We're creating some, um, creating an inbox, and we're using that email address uh, to sign up as a new user and clicking the sign up button. Next, we're waiting for the confirmation email to arrive and we're using the wait controller and the wait for latest email. If you go into that code, you can see there's actually quite a lot of different methods. And if you download the, uh, the sources, you can read all the documentation there. Um, the next step is we're using uh, a pattern to extract the confirmation code. So from here, all we have to do is fill out the form of the confirmation code and click submit. So if we put a um, debugger there, 
we can use that to then find the form elements we need to click in the next step. So we'll run that again. Okay, we can see it's filling out the form, a new email address again. It's waiting for the confirmation code. Okay, it's received it. Now, if we inspect this element, what do we have here? Okay, we have something we can test, but name code. That's perfect. So let's use that. And let's say um, we use the dollar sign. Um, sorry, we'll go like that. Um, name code, and then we'll put that like this. Okay, and then we want to send the keys. We'll send the keys, the code, and then we need to click confirm, I guess. So this is the selector for confirm, and then we'll say uh, click that, click it. Okay. Um, okay, and we need to escape these quotes, and we'll click it, and then let's just wait again. Let's put a debugger here, and see what happens once it's submitted. So we'll stop that. Let's run the test again. We can see it's running. Okay, here's our browser. It creates a new email address. It submits, it submitted the form. We saw that. So it's now taking us to this new sign in to your account page. So our account has been confirmed. Now we just need to sign in. So with the same username and password. So let's see what we can select by. This is name, username, and name. Uh, what is it? Name password, and then we're going to click that button, which is a type submit. So maybe we can write this all in one go, and let's see see how we do. So I'll just stop that test, and now let's say um, let's add some comments here. Um, submit the confirmation code, right? And now um, we need to uh, fill in the sign in. Find fill in sign in form. So let's say name equals, ooh, what was it again? Username? We're going to skip the quotes this time, see if it happens. Um, see if it works. Send the keys of the email address, and we're going to send the password, and we're going to send our, our temp test password. And then we want to click, um, I believe it is the submit button, so type equals submit. Now, if this happens, uh, we should have a nice surprise. Let's see if it works and see if we detect it. So we'll put in the debugger again. Let's run this test and see what happens. Time for some tea. Okay, it's filling out the form, looking good. Waiting on confirmation. Submitted the confirmation. It's signing in. Hey, and we see the welcome. So we see this happy dog. So let's just cover what we did there. Uh, we used MailSlurp in our automated test to create a disposable email address. Um, we used that email address to create a new user in our application using Selenium, then receive a confirmation code to the email address, and then we submitted that confirmation code to the confirm form element to confirm our account. Then we signed in with our username and password and we saw the logged in authenticated screen. So just to finish this test, um, let's just make an assertion that there is this welcome message, uh, H1 welcome, that's all we can test with really. Um, and let's just make sure that it's there. So we'll say, uh, I think we need to say H1 like that and get text. Yep, get text uh, and then let's say assert equals get text um, and it should contain um, I think it was was it welcome like that yeah we'll say true okay and then we'll stop that debugger and we'll just run that again okay so let's run it one more time this should run the whole test for us all right it created an email address it's waiting for the code enter the code username and password click sign in and we see the welcome screen. Wonderful. So that's our test complete. So you can use uh, Selenium and MailSlurp in your own code um, to test user authentication and email confirmation links today. It's, uh, it's free to create an account. And you can find uh, integrations for a whole, whole range of languages, Java, but also um, C Sharp, Python, JavaScript. Um, so just head on over to um, www.mailsurp.com and create an account. And reach out to us on uh, Twitter or support if you have any questions. Um, thanks for watching.